everybody welcome to my channel so today is night three of three and then i'll be off for four days feels great i'm exhausted but it's okay i'll have four days of rest i know probably i'll sleep the whole day tomorrow but i don't care anyway so today i wanted to talk about nclex you know i wanted to talk about nclex what especially for those that have failed the exam and they're trying to figure out you know what next what do i do i know there are some that probably have tried the exam a couple times you know several times and all that you keep failing you want to know what do i do where do i what do i do next you know what do i do next what do i do different yeah so take it from me from a person that has uh, I failed NCLEX the first attempt that I, I mean, <laughs> I failed NCLEX the first time I took it. Guess what? 75 questions. And then I passed it on my second attempt with 75 questions again. So, what did I do different? What happened the first time? And all that and all that. Anyway, yeah, I just wanted to make mention that. NCLEX is not so hard. And I wouldn't say it's hard. I'll just say it's tricky. You know, I'll just say it's a tricky exam that is just there to get you. You can imagine you do your four years of school or your three years of school, and then to base your entire career on this one exam to see whether you can. You know you can be a better nurse or whatever i don't know but what i'm trying to say is nclex does not define who you are i've seen uh, a number of nurses that probably had to take it several times that are excellent nurses excellent in a way that you wouldn't even want to to you know i wouldn't even know how to describe it so It's kind of tricky that your whole career is based on this one exam that you have to take. But I guess it's life, you know? So I've seen people that have taken NCLEX and passed with 75 questions that are so terrible at their job. And I've also seen people that had to take it several times that are so good at it. So NCLEX does not define who you are. It does not also define the type of nurse that you're gonna turn out to be. So um what do you do what is it that you have to do different you know um i'll tell you about my experience the first time i took nclex i wasn't even in my right state of mind um i had a lot on my plate i had so much going on in my personal life and all that I was trying to make a decision, you know, trying to decide whether this was the right thing to do coming over here to work as a nurse. Um, you know, just leaving everything behind, coming here. I, I, I just wasn't in the right place. I didn't know what I wanted. So even when I decided to take the exam, I didn't uh, prepare the way I was supposed to prepare. I didn't prepare adequately. That's what I would say at this particular point. I did read here and there, I did do practice some questions here and there, but it wasn't adequate for me to say, okay, I have read, I have, you know, I've understood, I'm now ready for, to, to undertake this thing. So what did I do different the second time? The second time I had to sit down and, you know, think, things through and say why am I doing this not just that I had to think about the money that I was you know spending the first time the agency the agency that uh, recruited me was paying for most of the things so I didn't really right feel right I didn't really feel the impact that much because I didn't spend much of my money the second time they said you fail the second time if you want to attempt will help you pay for certain things but you foot in three quarters of you know three quarters of the things so i had to pay for the exam fee the center fee you know i had to pay for the trip to india i had to pay for accommodation literally everything and i didn't even have that money i'm grateful and thankful for my family that came through and just helped out 
so what did i do different i had to sit down and realize i mean i had to sit down and uh, put down my goals and ask myself why am i doing this why is this important to me all right so the reason why this whole thing was important to me is i wanted something different something different for me something different for my children something different for my family you know so that's the reason why i undertook this entire process i had to put on i had to put down some goals i had to i had to just you know stop complaining stop giving excuses and find time it's just like weight loss eh just like right now i've been struggling to lose weight but more so the reason why it's not working out is because i'm not putting in the effort i'm not as committed as i'm supposed to so that's the way it was with NCLEX. i wasn't put it I, the first time i didn't put in as much effort as i was i wasn't just committed yeah so the second time i went ahead and you know i read i focus more on knowing the content because nursing back home in zambia and the nursing here in the united states is totally on a whole it's a whole new ball game you know so i had to learn all over again i did my three years i did my diploma in nursing so i had to learn everything all over again i read i read i concentrated on knowing the content yeah it's important to know the content the reason why you have to know the content is because it doesn't matter how a question is phrased if you know that if you know that the heart has four chambers you have that content in you it doesn't matter how they ask you that question to say how many chambers does the heart I even though they rephrase that question a hundred times you know and you know for sure that the heart has four chambers and you know you that you can list them down and all that so there are just certain facts that you need to learn in a way that even though they were to rephrase you know certain questions even though they were to to put questions in a certain way you'll still be able to answer so that's the reason why it is important for you to know your content so first things first i had to read and understand my content i spent time reading my saunders text i had a sixth edition by then that was like 2017 I had the sixth edition but I, by then the seventh edition had already been out but I, I didn't even bother I just concentrated on reading the sixth edition that I had I had a soft copy I read that book from page one to the very last page like I was crazy I read I understood I did the questions after each and every chapter I read I read I read and I understood where I did not understand I went back and then I concentrated more on what I was weak on as well I had to sit down and say, what am I weak at? I realized that I was so weak at this, uh, uh, the critical thinking questions, you know, uh, the situational questions that I would ask, there is this person and then how do you answer this and all that, that stuff. So I concentrated more on those things because I needed to know. I didn't have a problem with factual stuff. I didn't have a problem with that. Yeah, so content is of utmost uh, importance when you're preparing for NCLEX. I sat there, I read, I read, and then when I got to a point where I felt like I was comfortable enough to now start going through questions, that's the time I, that's the time I started reading questions. I started doing questions. Yeah, I would do plenty of questions in a day, plenty, plenty questions, and I concentrated on the rationales as well. I made sure that I read the rationale. Even though I got the answer wrong, I would read and know why that answer was answered in that certain way. Yeah, so, and then close enough to my exam, because, you know, um, the UOD was highly spoken of. I decided to subscribe for a month. I paid for a month, UOD, and I did, and by then it was uh, pretty much affordable and cheap. It, I had my two assessments and the questions full bank, my my full Q bank. I did all of the questions. I read all of the rationales. I took down notes. You know, I took down notes. I read everything that I needed to read, and I did all the questions. And then I had uh, Kaplan that the agency also uh, had paid for. So I used some of Kaplan as well because Kaplan is the first one that I had used for my first uh, attempt. So I was a bit, you know, uh, so that's the reason why I, I had to change a few things just to make sure that I passed this time, this time around. Because money was hard to come by. 
so I needed to pass this time around because I knew that if I failed that time around I would not have another chance I didn't have the money so um, that's what I did the second time around I concentrated more on content I did the content I read my books, I read my cup, uh, my Saunders uh, textbook from page one to the very last page. I did all the questions, I understood everything, you know. And then after that, that's when I spent time now doing questions, questions, questions. I practiced like a crazy person. I had very little sleep. I, I dedicated my time to this. And even when I passed the 75 questions, uh, when the exam stopped at 75, I knew that it was a done deal. Yeah, I, was, I, I, I didn't even question it. I just knew that ah, it's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. So the one thing that I wanted to mention is this exam does not define the kind of nurse that you're going to be. It doesn't. You might have failed two times, three times, four times, five times. It does not define who you are. All right. You are only a failure if you stop trying if you quit okay we will fail you get back up and say where did i go wrong what should i do this time around and sometimes you might you know uh putting money in these reviews and all that stuff and all that stuff sometimes that's not what you need sometimes it's just a mindset i just had to change my mindset and tell myself that i was gonna do it i had to tell myself that i was gonna do it and just you know, just that, the fact that I told myself that this is what I wanted to do, it just changed everything. You know, it just changed everything. The fact that I told myself, oh, this is what Martha has to do. Martha has to pass this exam. The, just the minute I told myself that, everything just changed. Everything just changed. So this is what I just wanted you guys to, to kind of focus on, especially my people that probably have failed and probably are just feeling low and probably just thinking what next what do i do and all that stuff do not give up you are only a failure you're only a failure when you stop trying okay you are only a failure when you stop trying so get up get up put down your goals what you want to achieve you can do this and you're gonna do it you're gonna pass and just try again okay thank you so much for your time um i'm driving and i'm on the highway i'm driving i'm on the highway so forgive me yeah i gotta go guys bye bye but thank you for watching